So part of your training on how to create sterile environments, preparing plates and everything else is the use of your Bunsen burner, which is our lab room in the room four. And so quickly, it's important to know its anatomy that way you can kind of relatively efficiently adjust it as you need it without wasting time. So the idea is to understand the body, right? And so I'm gonna use this little pointer over here so we can talk about it, that way I don't get involved too much. We have our basic barrel. We have a little collar, two of these things that we're really not gonna to touch. But what we're interested in is this little vent right here. This guy, which actually rotates clockwise and counterclockwise, is important because this is really not necessarily an air vent, it's an oxygen vent. Really what we're interested in is for any flame, more oxygen. And then ours happens to be a little bit unique, which has also a gas valve. This gas valve serves the same purpose as a normal valve, which allows us to adjust how much gas is going into the actual system. Right? So this way, most of the time we won't really adjust it at all. Once it's open, we have it where we want it to be, unless the flame, flame itself is out of control. But this guy, this is the guy we're gonna be playing with a lot. So what we're gonna do right now is kind of test it. But before we do that, it's actually important we understand how the actual gas system works. So every bench has a gas system, has a little knob or a little dial onto it, which will open up the pathway of the gas itself should pass through and then allow the flame. Pretty simple. But it's also important to double check that there are no kinks around the actual tubing, our Tigon tubing. That way no gas is escaping. We also want to make sure that this guy is always tightly closed before and after. That way we don't risk any explosions, right? And so we also want to learn how to adjust it. So for right now, we're actually going to test it in its virtually closed form. And so we're going to use our wand lighter. And the idea behind this is to open up the gas so you can usually hear it and then make sure you have your wand away from it that way you can actually have the flame first so flame first and then you can actually touch it if you try and do the actual clicking over and over over it it will just keep on putting it out because a flow of gas is pushing it. so as you can tell this guy is actually running now what you're gonna find out is that as we rotate this guy the more we open the air vent, you'll hear it change in sound, and you'll hear it produce. What we're really looking into is this two cone system. So there is a flame in here, and then there's an outer cone on the outside. We're really interested in this deep blue one over here that is gonna help us sterilize it. But as you'll notice, if we take away the oxygen, it'll go back to a simple blue flame, a cooler one. And then if we close it even further, it'll turn into your classic orange yellow flame, which is the coolest of the flames that we have, so lowest temperature, right? So when we're boiling things, we're gonna want to have it at this kind of blue temperature kind of color. And then when we're trying to sterilize things, we'll open it up a little bit more until we get that two cone system. And we'll use this specific area right here to try and sterilize things. And mind you, like I said back here, the valve that we won't really play with very much Kind of closes the system and so you'll see that it kind of makes it larger and smaller as we adjust it so we really won't touch that guy very much and it serves the same function as the main gas valve okay so we're going to close it up really quick and you'll notice that it's gone we're going to try this again just for the sake of it so you want to get some good practice with using your wand lighter too sometimes it doesn't go on the first time so we open it up you can hear the gas flowing and then do this from a distance and then touch it. And then you'll notice that if we open more gas, let's adjust this guy a little bit more. More flame will go through. And so this guy will normally adjust it. And as we close it, it will also disappear or open up. So let's close it up. And that's pretty much our basics for how to use our Bunsen burner. So the important parts, obviously, keep in mind that this does get hot, so you shouldn't be messing with it very much. Make sure that this guy is always closed, that the tubing is intact, no kinks, no breaks, nothing leaking out, that you don't smell any gas in particular. Making sure that the air vent is adjusted as needed. And that's pretty much simple idea behind this guy. So we'll get to play with this when you come in for your first and second laps.